friends today what we are going to do is um, we are going to draw a penguin okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need crayons we need markers we need a white paper we are using half a paper uh, we need uh, something to practice draw on and we need a pencil also okay if you don't okay so let's um get to the lesson so what we're going to do is um as i said we are going to draw a penguin this is a cartoon penguin okay so cartoon penguins would be uh where do penguins live live penguins do they live in a hot climate or in a cold place they live in a cold place so people in cold places what do they wear they wear like uh scarves and um, things like that right to keep them warm so we'll be adding uh, accessories to our penguin to make it look like um, this penguin is uh, from a cold place we know that penguins live in a cold place but this is a cartoon penguin so those are the things that we are going to add okay so um, first we are going to place the paper in the portrait style because um we are drawing just one penguin and we don't need that much space okay and from the top that's where we are going to start we are going to find the middle the top i'm going to maybe you can leave like a two finger space or three finger space on top i'm going to put a dot there and then i'm going to make a circle okay now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to add two uh, diagonal lines coming from the circle like that and then I'm going to connect it with a horizontal line like that okay I'm going to add one more line one slightly curvy line like a backward C and a backward C on this side and then I'm going to connect it with another horizontal line so that is the uh, supposed to be the hat of our penguin maybe you can add lines to make it more uh, attractive looking okay so then we, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, make the eyes of the penguin so eyes like over here not touching the um the this thing um these this horizontal line just below that okay two circles maybe a circle around that also will work okay let me take on the marker while we're doing this i saw this lesson um done by another art teacher her name is Cassie Stephans and then I thought oh this would be a nice window project for my students so I thought let me try this with you for you guys okay so here the eyes now let's add the beak so beak will put a small horizontal line in between the eyes and then connect it with the v okay so we have that below that i'm going to leave like one finger space not touching the beak uh, one finger space below i'm going to draw another horizontal line okay uh, it's not it's like almost or a little almost the size of this horizontal line can you see that and then i'm going to draw another horizontal line under this is the scarf my friend and i'm going to connect it okay maybe i'll add a pattern to the scarf also now we are going to uh, finish off the head so i'm going to make a c and a backward C from this to this I'm going to make this a little bit dark okay so we now have the head 
oh there is one more thing that i'm missing i need to add the a v shape like this i'm going to color this also black so we have the face done you want to add eyebrows you can do that now let's add uh, the body oh let's finish the rest of the scarf you can draw it straight down i just made it a little bit curvy the tassel i'm going to now make a curvy line like that a curvy line like this like a snowman almost right and then i'm going to connect this too okay now uh, i'm going to add the flippers so the flippers are you can either draw the flipper like that like a it's like a v upwards v or you can put it sideways v or you can have so these are two ways you can draw that or you can have the flipper like this downwards this one is like saying hello to you guys so i have one up and one down or you can have both downwards okay now i'm going to uh if you have space um we are going to draw the legs so the legs are like i'm going to draw a line one from here and one from the bottom here and here connect it with a three here a backwards three you have his um the legs now oh all that is remaining is coloring it and the background right so the background what we'll be doing is um we'll be making uh some spiral lines okay so maybe we'll make this uh I, i'm going to draw a horizon line to make him look like he's standing on some thing right so a line so when the line meets the penguin you need to jump over to the other side now about the penguin like on either side and over here you guys can draw <coughs> spirals so spirals how do we do the spirals you put your pen like that and then you're going to make spirals like this so spirals it's like a six or you can go like that can you see you can start from inside and then go out or you can start from outside and then go inwards like that so let's make some spirals so practice some spirals all around this little fellow and then we are done with the drawing um if you think you are ready to do this on the paper we are going to grab our paper okay so i'm going to grab my paper <clears throat> and then what i'm going to do now is again we are placing the paper in the portrait style i'm going to leave two finger space or three finger space uh, i'm going to three finger space i'm going to put a dot like that and that's where the the pom pom the circle of his uh, the hat starts okay so then two lines coming down the sway diagonally like that i'm going to attach this with a horizontal line okay then a c backwards c and connect it got that much then we are going to make the eyes so i'm going to leave some space under the under this horizontal line i'm going to you can just add two dots for the eye or you can add another line around that another circle around it to make him his eyes look bigger okay then 
a small horizontal line connect it with a V right so below that I'm going to leave one finger space and then I'm going to draw another horizontal line so this line should be almost um, it should be bigger almost the same size or a little bit lo uh, bigger longer than this one okay and then curvy line curvy line connect it this is the scarf one line like this one line like that connect it the tassels now let's make his face right like that maybe this can be a little bit okay so the next um he looks like this is looks like a snowman right now and now i'm going to draw the rest of the body so from here i'm going to make a c backward c okay so the c which i'm leaving some space on the bottom here for the legs and then i'm going to connect to this like that now for the legs i'm going to make a line extending from either side like that from here one finger I put, there is space for one finger above that I'm putting another line connecting it with a three backwards three we have the flipper the legs now the flippers so the flippers I'm going to start from here like a V sideways V you want this fellow to be waving at you it can be this way right oh here we need to draw the V so making it a little bit big because it's okay so now what we need to do is we need to draw this horizon line when you reach the penguin, any part of the penguin is touching the line, you jump over. Okay. So now um, this penguin is done. We can, one more thing we can do is I'm going to draw um, a rainbow. Okay. So now we're going to take a marker you take the black marker that you have and then you're going to i'm going to make it look a little bit fuzzy i'm going to go over all the lines so what i'm going to do now is like watch i'm making this so we made one c right so here I'm making it like halfway when I reach there. I'm going to connect it and make it like that. It's like a three. I think this will make him a little bit more cuter. I'm going to darken this part, this line. Now here, this could have almost come down also to the beak or it can almost touch the beak also. That also will work that way. I'm going to make this color inside black. Okay. The scarf outline his scarf okay the eyes okay. 
has a little bee. Okay, now let us stuff this body. This flickers. This one. So this and this part is actually black. Only this is white and the face is white. Um, so you can color those parts black while you are with the marker right now. So let me take another marker. Take the black marker from your marker set. That's with which you are outlining all this, right? You can color your penguin black. The flippers black. This flipper black. So watch how I'm coloring. I'm just making lines and then filling it in. And this part. I don't know whether this much part of the penguin. Actually, we could have made this a little bit more bigger, this white part. It's okay. Now it's like more of black than white. That's okay. Okay. So this part looks like a different black. So I'm going to go over this also right now to make it all look the same black. If you want, you can erase off the pencil lines that is there. Some pencil lines are there. Oh, the legs. This part has to be outlined and the horizon lines need to be outlined. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color uh, the scarf and the legs and the beak and all the stuff, okay? So you can make a pattern for the scarf or you can just color without any pattern. Okay, I'm going to make a pattern. The tassel, let me see if I can draw it with this. You can't really see the tassel. Maybe. Make a pattern on this one. I'm just going to use the same color to color this part of this, okay? You can use whatever color you want. If you want to leave this white, you can. I'm going to make this a blue pom-pom. The black is almost blending, so I'm going to outline this one more time. Okay. Now... 
let's uh, color the legs I'm going to take orange for the leg and yellow for the beak yellow for the beak Actually, the legs are like black, I guess, but we are going to make it orange. That's okay. You're taking the artistic license to change this. And uh, actually, this is a cartoon, right? So it doesn't matter. Now, for the background, what we're going to do is you can use um, the colors, any of the colors, like. Um, I'll give you three colors to use, okay? I, three, maybe two colors. You can either use blue and yellow together or blue, not blue, this is yellow and orange. What am I saying? <laughs> you guys will be like, what is Miss Day, Mrs. J saying? You can use yellow and orange together and a blue or purple together or you can use blue and green together so choose one of the colors color combinations i'm going to because i use blue and purple for the uh, scarf and the things i don't want the same color so i'm going to use um yellow and orange for my background for the spirals okay so the spirals when you're drawing see that you are not uh, drawing on top of your uh, penguin I'm going to make some spirals. It's like I'm sprinkling the spirals all over. So now I'm going to take orange. Some spirals. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two away. Now you'll be wondering we didn't use the crayons yet and why did Mrs. J ask us to put the crayon? We are going to take the crayon and add a bit of blue. Okay. To make it where is the blue? Okay, this I'm taking this this is this blue. Where is my big longer blue? This is the blue that I'm using, okay? I'm going to use that and I'm going to add a little bit to the side to show lightly, very lightly. It's like I'm tickling the paper. That's how you should be coloring, okay? Very lightly from the side and from the side. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the snow. Not, I'm not coloring the entire thing. I'm just adding a little bit next to him to show it's like uh, the shadow. Like that. Maybe only on this side I'm going to put, not this side. So that's all of the crayons that you're using. And with that, we are done with the penguin project. Okay, so hope you guys had fun making this penguin with me and um, I would like to see how this turned out. So you guys um, ask your mom or dad to email me this uh, penguin that you did and uh, along with your name, room number um, and your school name so that I can see how you did it and uh, till we meet next time. Bye-bye.